Hello students, let's learn how to draw square root spiral. So students, for this, you take a point exactly in the center of the page, center vertically, center horizontally. So we have taken a point O in the center. Then we will draw a line segment of unit distance. Students, here today we will take 5 cm as the unit distance. Let's start with 5 cm. Ready? So we have taken 5 cm as the unit distance. Take this point as P. Now at this point P, draw a perpendicular with the help of D protector. The pencil should be sharp, you should be exact. Now here we are drawing a dotted line. Now we shall take the compass equal to unit distance. Unit distance. So today we are taking 5 cm as unit distance. So this is the unit distance here. Okay. So we are drawing this. We are making this line segment of unit distance bold. Earlier it was dotted. Now we are joining, uh, let us name this point as Q. And then let's join O2. Alright. Now at Q again, on this line O2, draw a perpendicular. Understood? On this line. being very careful so this is the perpendicular we are joining this line and dot it okay now here again we have to take a unit distance See students, this was unit distance 1, this was again unit distance 1 and hence this is square root 2. So equal to unit distance, here again we are cutting an arc with the center Q. So this comes out to be a new point, let's name this point as R and let us join QR as a bold line. Now at QR again we have to draw a perpendicular. No, sorry. First, you need to join OR. So, first, you have joined OR. So, at R, you are drawing one more perpendicular. Student, this you need to do on a bigger drawing sheet.
okay so we are drawing perpendicular on this right and here we are again taking unit distance Let's name this point as S. Let this point be S. So students, this was one. This was square root. Uh, this, uh, this was square root three. So by Pythagoras, this will be square root three. I repeat, this is one. This is square root two. So hence, this will be square root three. Now we have taken one unit distance here right and now we are joining OS so this will be square root 4 means 2 so you can test it it is twice the unit distance which we have taken 5 cm hence it is 10 cm see you see it is exactly 10 cm that means we are proceeding right now again at S we have to draw one more perpendicular I repeat you have to do this on a bigger drawing sheet Okay, so at S again we are drawing a perpendicular. You have to see how are we putting up the D, on which line are we drawing the perpendicular. So we are drawing on OS, right? No. On this again, on this again, we are taking unit distance, unit distance. See, every time you should confirm the compass, compass may have been disturbed like mine was. So we have taken this as the unit distance. It was disturbed, sorry, it was again disturbed. So the previous mark was wrong. So here it is unit distance here the new mark not the previous one so let us name this point as t and hence st is one and now we are joining ot OT. So students, this is square root 4, this is 1, hence this is square root 5. OT is square root 5. Now at OT again, we are drawing one more perpendicular. right so OT at OT we have taken one more perpendicular and on this perpendicular we have marked the unit distance unit distance is equal to OP so here it is you have to be very, very careful the compass is not disturbed so here it is. Let's name this point as U. So 
ut is unit distance 1 and now we are joining ot so this is square root 5 this is 1 hence this is square root 6 o u distance is square root 6 now at u again draw one more perpendicular Thank God, mine is coming within the boundaries of the page. So what you need to do, you need to take bigger sheet. Now here on this perpendicular again, I am taking marking a unit distance. Every time you need to take the unit distance again because the compass disturbs. So here we are taking another point. Let us name this point as V. So UV is the unit distance. So I am joining OV now. All right every time it was 90 degree here it is again 90 degree here it's again 90 degree this 2 is 90 this 2 is 90 you need to mark 90 degree angles so students this is square root 6 this is 1 hence this is square root 7 now again I'm taking another perpendicular here And again, I'm taking unit distance on this. So this is the next point. Let's name this point as W. I have named this point as W. Now this is 1. And I am joining OW now. I was not that perfect in joining, be careful. So students, this is square root 7, this is 1, hence this is square root 8. Now at W, again I am drawing one more perpendicular, let me see if it is possible, yes, one is possible here. My sheet is falling short. So that's why I'm saying again, you have to do it on a bigger sheet. Okay, now on this I'm marking a unit distance. So let us take this point as x. So this was x w, w x was 1, and this is o w is square root 8, hence o x is square root 9. 
So as per our unit distance, it should come 15 and mine is correct. Mine is coming out to be 15 exactly. So it means I was accurate and measurements. You too should aim to be accurate. Here I have gone a little wrong. So let us draw it again. The erasing should also be perfect students. So now I'm, I'm joining OX. So this is square root 9. So students, this way you need to proceed on, on a bigger sheet and proceed on up to square root 13 or even bigger if you want. It will be a beautiful diagram. Okay. Thank you.